Hello and welcome to the instructional video, how to switch from Windows XP to Windows 10. This is a simple step-by-step -step and complete guide for desktops and laptops, carefully follow the recommendations and you will succeed. Updating Windows XP is now impossible, and so in the beginning we will download the ISO Windows 10 file from the official Microsoft website. Then we will create a bootable USB flash drive using the special Rufus program. You can burn the Windows 10 ISO file to a DVD disk of your choice. And finally, we will install Windows 10 of the latest version on our computer. Before starting the process, you definitely need to check the technical specifications of the device on which Windows 10 will be installed and see the system requirements of the operating system that you have chosen. Also, save all the necessary data in another place, since during the installation the old system and all information on the C drive will be completely deleted. And the last thing, before starting the process, you should disconnect the printer, scanner, webcam and other peripheral devices from your computer, they may interfere with installation. And so, we open our browser and write, download Windows 10. Next, we open the official Microsoft page, here it is said that from our device under the leadership of Windows XP we can't upgrade our system to Windows 10, but we can only download the Windows 10 ISO file to our computer to write it to a bootable flash drive drive or DVD to install Windows 10 on our computer. We select Windows 10 and click, Confirm, Next. We select the language for our system and click again, Confirm. Now we need to select Windows 10, 64-bit or 32-bit. We choose 64-bit, I hope everyone knows the advantages of the 64-bit system over the 32-bit system. We click. And the ISO file started downloading to our computer. Downloading a file, then creating a bootable USB flash drive and installing Windows 10 on a computer takes a lot of time and therefore I suggest you divide the whole process into three stages. And if you use a laptop, connect its cable to the power supply. Operating system file loaded. Now you need to connect a USB flash drive with at least 8GB of memory to your computer, then open the browser and write, Rufus 2.5. This program is completely free and does not require installation. And you can also use the Ultraso program, the WinSetup from USB program, or another program of your choice. We download the Rufus 2.5 program and open it. In the upper part, a flash card should be selected for recording. We will not go into the technical details and description of this program, you just try to install in its field exactly the same process settings that you see in our video. Then open the path to the file with Windows 10 and click OK. Then click Start, and a warning opens that all files on the USB flash drive will be permanently deleted. Click OK, and the process of creating a boot device has begun. Do not turn off your computer and wait for the process to complete. The boot flash card is ready, close the program and we reboot our computer to start installing Windows 10. During the reboot, to call the boot menu, you need to press the F12 button on the keyboard several times, on some devices, this may be a different button. We click on it 2 to 3 times per second until the boot menu appears. The boot menu has opened, we need to find a flash card in it and transfer the bright field to it with the buttons on the keyboard. Then click enter, and the download of Windows 10 installation files has begun. Here a menu opens where you can choose the language, format and configuration of the keyboard. We click, Next. Now the menu for starting the installation of Windows 10 has opened. Click on, Install now. Downloading installation files continues. In the activation window you need to enter your keys, you can from the previous version of Windows. We click on, I don't have a product key. And in the next window, you can select the release of Windows 10 for your computer. We choose, Windows 10 Home, click, Next. In the next window you need to familiarize yourself with the license agreement. And having checked the box, click, Next. It is proposed to make an update of Windows, or install. We click on the bottom line, Install. Here we see all the drives connected to the laptop. On the bottom line is information storage. On the second line is the disk with the old system and we delete it. 
We also delete the disk with additional files for the system on the top line. To install Windows, you need to create a new disk instead of deleted ones and we click on New. The Windows installer offers the size of a new disk, leave this size or any other, click Apply. The installer notifies you of the creation of an additional disk for system files, OK. Now we have created disks for Windows and for system files. You can continue the installation and we click Next. Now you need to wait until the Windows is fully installed, then the computer will reboot and the system configuration will begin. Computer rebooted. We continue, now choose your region. Here you need to select the keyboard layout, if you don't need one in the list, then you can upload your. We don't need the second layout and we click. A few more settings. Now look at the new in Windows. Enter your Microsoft account here. If not, then you need to register. We are logging into our account. Now the password. Now you need to come up with your own PIN code. It can be much shorter than a password and it's convenient, but more complicated than 1234, and do not repeat the same numbers. 1, 1, 1, 1. After the full installation of Windows, if you wish, you can disable the PIN and password, so as not to enter them every time you turn on the computer. How to disable the password and PIN code is described in our video, which can be viewed at the link. The link is in the description of this video. Enter the PIN code. We write again and without errors. The PIN code is set, OK. Now our files will be constantly copied and saved in OneDrive and it is very convenient. Confidentiality settings are indicated here, decide for yourself. But for now we turn everything off and click, except, left a little. Almost there. Installation is complete and we are welcomed by Windows 10 and the new Microsoft Edge browser. Here you can select a different language. This is a really great browser. Short acquaintance. And we see the desktop and the latest version of Windows. Let's look at the new design of the start button and the location of all programs. Now let's see the specification of our new system and for this, right click on the start button. Then, setting on the top line of the system and clicking on the bottom line about. We look at the specification of Windows. Edition. Windows 10 Home Version 1903. That's all. Now you can fully enjoy Windows 10 with the latest updates in 2019 and its new features. And now we say goodbye to you. Thanks for your attention. Good luck to all.